stock market continues to be incredibly volatile as investors worry about the health or lack thereof of the global economy. With all that in mind, I'm here with Jay Pestrocelli, the head of investor experience at online brokerage TD Ameritrade. So head of investor experience is kind of a way of you, you look at investor psychology and what some of the moves behind trading are. Is that a fair way to describe it? Yeah, that's do, fair. So? I think we try to pay attention to the behaviors mm-hmm. that uh, clients exhibit, and we want to make sure that in order to meet their needs, we have a good understanding of what those needs are. And their, their behavior usually helps us have a good understanding of, of what they're trying to accomplish. Great. That's definitely you know very important, I think, uh, as many people look at the markets uh, with an eye on the economy and, and business knowledge. It's probably just as important to know about basic psychology. So with that in mind, what are some of the behavioral mistakes or or not mistakes maybe that investors make on a day like Tuesday, for example, where stocks are just getting crushed as everyone's worrying about maybe China's slowing down, the U.S. still looks fragile, Europe obviously. You know, you just had this big rush to get out of the equity markets on Tuesday. Yeah, I think, you know, Tuesday is a great example of how when you have a double whammy on bad news in the market with the consumer confidence and you have the China economic outlook, all of those things uh, will create an emotional reaction out of, out of an investor. And quite frankly, we want to tell them ahead of time, you should have a plan. Right. You should be able to identify ahead of time, you know, what happens if, right? Everybody should ask themselves, what is the risk I'm willing to take here? Um, and you find on a day like this, there is a lot of emotional selling, emotional reaction. Mm-hmm. And, you know, one of those things, if that's part of your plan to exit at a certain price point, great, follow that plan. If it's not, uh, you have to really think about taking quick action when right. you see news-driven markets. Stocks are still comfortably higher than the March 09 Depression 2 is coming immediately lows that we had. So is investor sentiment with that in mind still positive or or, or has it taken a hit because we've had this short term drop, even though stocks are still well above their lows from uh, about a year and a half ago? Yeah, Tuesday is a great example of how uh, the emotion of the market uh, can drive it down relatively quickly. Overall, there's a good amount of new fear coming into the mm-hmm. market. I think a lot of people uh, remember 2008. They remember those days when the Dow was down 600, 700 points, and they'll they'll react to that. And so I think when you see a day like today, where the momentum really builds, you know, on a downward with downward pressure, uh, it tells me there's a lot of people that are making emotional decisions, and they're going to have uh, some difficulty there. And the sentiment is negative when you're making rash, quick decisions. Uh, I think people would be interested in hearing what are the merits of being contrarian. It's a brave, bold call to make to buy on a day when stocks are falling two, three percent. What's what's the argument for kind of just sticking your head down and, and not worrying about what the rest of the world is doing? You know, on a day like Tuesday where you see a a significant drop quickly, uh, some will take the approach of looking at, quote unquote, the technicals of Mm -hmm. the market. Like, where does the market seem to bounce, right? And there is a level on the S&P around the 1040 that has historically, you know, if you look back to uh, to February, has shown there's some level of support there, right? So to have the the, the, the guts to, to... make that type of investment, you know, you would be a person that would be following a strategy that you always follow, right? You know, buy at support, sell at resistance, right? Things like that in the market when you see these trends. Uh, The other thing I would say is protect yourself, right? right? Have an understanding of your risk. Ask yourself, what am I willing to risk on this particular trade? Mm -hmm. I think there's no question about it that when you're investing in the market, there's some level of risk associated with that, right? right? And like I said, recognize there's going to be times where you're going to make mistakes. So define your risk, right? Right? Use only a you know certain percentage of your of your portfolio to make investments that may be you know the quick bounce type of investment, uh, and then use certain trading uh, tools like stops. Right? right, define your loss ahead of time mm-hmm. so you're not always constantly sitting there glued to your computer or your phone and, and try to manage that and let the the tools that are available to you do that. Thank you very much, Jay. Appreciate it. And Great, thank you. For more coverage of the daily market tilt a whirl, please stay tuned to CNNMoney.com.